I'm Michael O'Dell and I wrote Rock Bottom. Actually, I didn't so much write it as discharge it in a series of tantrums at a computer keyboard. In 2005, I was a rock writer for Q Magazine and I was engaged in a personal quest to interview the world's six biggest rock stars. The big six, as I call them. Jagger, Richards, Bowie, McCartney, Pete Townsend and Jimmy Page. And these hands have shaken hands with Jagger, and Bowie and Richards. These ears have been shouted at by Bowie and uh, Oasis. But my quest kind of drew to a halt in 2005 when I freaked out at a rock awards ceremony. Now, that's a good place to freak out because at a rock awards ceremony, nobody really notices. In rock, mental dysfunction is common currency. What happens when you explore these dark aspects of rock and roll? There is a point at which you will be asked to leave the family home to live in a camper van. And that's what happened to me. I decided to take some time out with the agreement of my girlfriend and go and live in our camper van and think about what I'd really been doing with my life. I was under considerable pressure at home from my girlfriend to do something about my state of mind, so I did. I went and saw a therapist. Um, but the only therapist I could find was a doughty, no-nonsense German therapist called Mrs. Henkel. And she didn't give a shit about rock and roll. I thought Mrs. Henkel would be interested in my memorabilia. I wanted to tell her about my uh, hotel slipper that I stole from Mariah Carey, the pair of trousers I stole from The Strokes. She didn't care that I had a sandwich that was once bitten by James Brown, the godfather of soul. But eventually, we did some valuable work and patterns began to emerge. We went back into my life and in the 1970s and 1980s, I was one of two Bolivians living in the London borough of Croydon. There was a certain amount of alienation involved in that, and I sought uh, an access point in the host culture of England by turning to rock and roll. So, don't buy another rock book, buy Rock Bottom, because it's three books. It's a star-studded memoir. It's a survival guide to living in a camper van when things at home aren't really working out for you. But it's also a bit like The Hobbit, it's a quest. In fact, I wanted to call the book Rock Hobbit, but they wouldn't let me. Do I actually meet the big six? Do I retrieve full mental health functionality? And what do I do with Mariah Carey's hotel slipper? You're just gonna to have to read it to find out.